John Castellanos. So I was uh, on YouTube and I actually ran into a video. And uh, what it is, is, you know, I just uh, kind of keep my eye open a little bit when people start talking shit about, you know, anything that has to do with, you know, Mexican boxing or, you know, Mexican culture, anything that has to do. Because, you know, lately we have these dudes that like to, like to talk a lot of shit and, you know, and they they try to get, I don't know what they're trying to say that we're racist, but, you know, we can't even get on their page and respond because then they, they block us. Yet they don't block these fools that be saying other bullshit that, that's, you know, trying to call us wet back shit like that, you know. You know, and I'm with my boy Zapata on the fact that, you know, if, if, if they call you a wetback, you're just going to call them the same shit, you know, but referring to their culture, you know, anything else that's degrading to them, which we all know the word. And, you know, I'm pretty sure we've all had to use it one, one way or another, you know, I'm not going to use it right now because, you know, nobody's called me that personally, but, you know, I'll, 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 I'll straight up do it just like he said, you know. I'll straight up do it. But anyways, I ran across this video from that character, Town Ignorant. I mean, Town uh, Business. Yeah, that's his name, Town Business. And, you know, I think I did a video on him before. And, you know, basically he's up to his old antics, spreading lies. And I don't think it's the fact that he's ignorant. He knows the truth. He just likes to, you know, he's, he's trying to downplay this uh, Chavez Jr. Canelo fight. He's actually saying that the tickets have been in, on sale for two weeks, and that the the lowest ticket price was nine hundred. And you know that we all know that's bullshit because the the tickets ba barely just went on sale today, the twentieth, and they went on sale at ten p.m. And um, we all know that you can get them on. Uh, uh, basically, uh, uh, you can. There's a site on Boxing Scene where you can go straight to to. Uh, to um t-mobile arena and uh and you can get them and you know we we know that the you know the the lowest ticket prices are i think it's it says 125 and 75 and then there's also a 200 dollar ticket and you know he's all like i said he's trying to fucking downplay this fight he's saying whoa lots of tickets are left well of course dude they barely went on sale today and it's not like you know I don't know if he's trying to match this fight up with the one that uh, Triple G and Cal Brook had where they, they fucking sold out in like an hour or something like that. But you know what? It's a whole different situation. And, you know, don't don't try to downplay this fight, dude, because we all know this is a big money fight. In fact, one 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 thing I don't know about this fight is why the hell, you know, if if Chavez Jr. is only making six million, why the hell would these guys try to offer Triple G, 15 million. You know, if you ask me if fucking Chavez Jr. fought Triple G right now, there, it would be a fucking 50-50 split down the middle, you know? And if it would have been like two or three, two years ago, fucking uh, uh, Chavez Jr. would have fucking raped uh, Triple G in the negotiations. He would have fucking had a massive lead. You know, you guys... You guys just don't want to see fucking Mexicans progress in any way. And that's fucked up, dude. You know, we all know that you guys want to... What you guys want to hear is that a Mexican's taking a big-ass pay cut. Like the one Salido took. You know, when he fought... Um, What was his last fight? But I don't remember. Uh, It was El Bandido. Vargas. Where, 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 where I think Vargas... Made about two hundred fifty thousand, but Salido fucking made like twenty grand or something stupid like that. And we also remember that Andre Ward would, where fight where he fought against that brand dude, and that brand dude from Colombia only made like ten grand. Fucking messed up, dude. That's what you guys want to see us taking home, you know. And it's kind of fucked up, but whatever, you know. We we know you guys are fucking jealous of us, you know. We don't gotta play that game. And you know what, on this video, I also fucking caught a little sneak this at the end where he's saying, you know, about the this guy that, you know, told him how, how low the ticket prices were where he didn't believe him. And he said, you know, don't don't buy them off just anybody. But, you know, what he had to say is, you know, somebody like Viva or Homies tickets and, you know, which is he's trying to sit. He's trying to fucking sneak this us right there, you know.
Because, you know, he could have said something else, but he had to go there, you know, leaning, uh, trying to say, you know, trying to make it sound like, you know, don't buy tickets off of Mexican. But whatever, you know, just trying to expose this dude. All right, John Castellanos.